I saw my psychologist for the first time in about a month because she was on holiday and I told her about my experience about a week ago when I could smell things, about 50 things that day and um, she was really um, sort of, she was really happy about it and saying, yeah, it was, that was a really big deal. And um, and then, but she was saying that um, I can kind of use that to try and bring on more um, awareness of my senses. Like she was saying that um, if I purposely try and smell things and um, and taste things and touch things, um, it'll help me slowly become more sensitive to them because I told her that ever since then I've, um, I've almost haven't smelled anything and back to normal and, um, and I wasn't sure if I should just wait until um, my senses slowly become better or if there's something I can do to improve and yeah, she's saying that um, I should just sort of pretty much all day just keep trying to um, smell things, touch things and taste things yeah, I think all three of those senses, I don't have, um, I'm not nearly as, as sensitive as most people. So to say, for example, I should just go up to sort of, when I go work and just go up to sort of all these leaves and um, you know, even if I have to put it right up to my nose, like smell it and um, feel the texture of things. And when I'm eating to um, try and take notice of the taste of things and the smell of things and the um, and touching things. So. I've been doing that for about half a day now, and, um, and yeah, I, I assumed that I could actually smell things when I put things right up to my nose, because often I can, but yeah, today, like, I've been doing that to so many things in the bush, and I still haven't been able to smell a single thing, like, I literally put things right on my nose and um, take the biggest breath in I can, and I still can't smell anything, but um, yeah, I mean, that just shows um, how much, sort of, range I can sort of improve. So yeah, I mean, I don't take that as a bad thing.